Okay, let's try to understand x, y points in seven minutes. So that's the objective of this video uh, course. It may not be exactly seven minutes. It might go to, to 10 minutes, but I'm going to try to keep it around the seven minute mark so we can kind of give you a quick review on x, y points on the x, y coordinate plane. All right, so before we get going, let me introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabba Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and if you really want my full help in mathematics, if you like my teaching style, check out my full learning program. I'll leave the link in the description below. I have over 100 plus math courses, so hopefully uh, you'll be able to find yours there. And then also, it would be awesome if you consider subscribing as I'm posting math videos all the time. i got literally hundreds on my YouTube channel as we speak, but let's get into Understanding x, y points in seven minutes. Okay, so here we have the x, y coordinate plane. Okay, and um, I'm just assuming most of you out there have seen this uh, x, y coordinate plane. You're generally introduced to, uh, introduced to this concept in middle school, especially like in pre-algebra. And it's extremely important because it, this is where we learn how to graph lines, okay, things like this, very, very important in mathematics. And then when you study more advanced mathematics, you'll graph what we call uh, functions, various shapes that can look like that or even look like this, etc. But let's take this little squiggly guy right here. Um, how would I describe, you know, or how would I graph this, this little like shape? Well, the way we graph it is we kind of play connect the dots, right? There's points, okay, that are on this uh, line. And in mathematics, we call a shape like this a function, okay, some sort of function. Uh, it could be a, rela a relation, but I don't want to get too technical here. But basically, if I give you the bunch, if I give you a bunch of uh, points that I say, hey, this shape, uh, you know, goes through these points, and you'd be like, oh, okay, you can kind of sketch this, you know, uh, kind of curve through these points. Well, this is the value of having the x, y coordinate plane. All right, so how does it work? Well, it's very, very easy. So basically, the x, y coordinate plane is made up of, of two what we call axes. Okay, so an axis, we have an x axis. That's this guy right here. All right. And then we have the y axis, and that is this guy right there. Okay. All right, so how does it work? Well, basically... This x-axis, okay, starts at zero. This is zero, and then we just count over here. Let's say one, two, it's a number line. Three, four, it just keeps going. And it goes in the positive direction this way. Here is zero, and then here, this is negative one, negative two, negative three, uh, negative four, et cetera. And this just keeps going forever and ever and ever in that direction. So numbers get smaller this way and values get larger this way. And then we can have any value in between, let's say one and two, two and three. It doesn't make a difference. These are just the integer values. And then we have the same idea with the y-axis. But here, as we go up one, two, these get, this is the positive direction for the y-axis. It's zero is the same zero as uh, where the x and y-axis meet. And then here, this is negative one, negative two, negative three, et cetera. So this is the basic um, setup for an X, the x, y coordinate plane, okay? Uh, the middle here is called the origin, all right? And we'll talk about that here in a second. But this is, uh, this is where both the zero for the x and zero and the y is located. Now, we, if you look here, we have like four different uh, squares, okay? We call these quadrants. So this is going to be quadrant one. Okay, so we start here, quadrant one. Quadrant two is here. So we got one, two, and we have quadrant three over here. And we have quadrant four right there. Okay, so we have four quadrants on the xy plane. We have these two axes, x and y, and we kind of see how they're broken up. All right, so now let's get into the good stuff, right? Let's get into how we plot a point. Now, if you ever played the uh, game Battleship, uh, and I'm kind of aging myself, <laughs> then you'll, you'll understand how this works. Okay, so an XY point is just the system we use, a system uh, 
to describe the location of a point. It's nothing more than an address, okay? So let's say here is your house or where you live, okay? So how are you gonna tell someone you know, where you live? You're gonna say, hey, I live on this street, uh, this number on this street. I live on 12 Smith Street, right? So you need kind of two pieces of information. You need this and then you need this, right? Well, same thing for uh, a point, okay? So let's use this location right here, okay? So if I want to describe the address, the location of a point on the XY plane, I can use this awesome little um, system that we kind of call XY point, okay? This is also known as an ordered pair, okay, or a coordinate, all right? So a coordinate or an ordered pair or an XY point, etc. But if you look here very specifically, we have X, the X first, and then the Y second, okay? X first and Y second. So how does this work? Well, let's, let's describe the XY address, okay, uh, to this point, okay? Where did this, this point live on the XY plane? Okay, so we go to the X first, okay? So where on the X is this? So we have to look at the X axis and we kind of have to measure across. So here's one and here's two. So if we kind of look here, this point is at two along the X axis. So that will be my X coordinate. Now I have to go to my Y coordinate and say, okay, where is it along the Y axis? So it's one, two, three, four. So it looks like this is at four. So this point, okay, is at the location two, four, right? The coordinate two, four, or the ordered pair two, four, or the point two, four. That's, that's the way um, it's described, okay? All right, let's do another one. How about this point right here? Okay, what do you think, or where do you think this um, point is located? All right, so again, remember, X first and then Y, all right? So let's go down here. So let's take a look uh, along the X axis. So here, if I'm just focusing along the X axis, negative one, negative two. Now this is just a sketch, it's not perfect, right? But if you look at my sketch, this point seems to be where negative three is on the X axis. And so well, let's put a negative three for our X. And now for Y, we have to kind of go look over here and I'll be like, okay, it looks like it's about one, a positive one, and that would be correct. So this point or that order pair or coordinate would be located at negative three, one. Okay, so let's go ahead and do something different now. Let's go ahead and have you plot the point three, negative two. Okay, so what do you think three, negative two is? And you can sketch this out or you can just kind of look at uh, the screen and kind of like put your finger where you think the point three negative two it is. So if I told you plot the point or the coordinate or, uh, or the order pair three negative two, let's go ahead and do this, right? So first, again, we have to remember this is X and then Y. So we have to go to three along the X axis first. That's one, two, three, okay? So that's gonna be right there. So I'm gonna have this point in mind, and now I have to go to negative two uh, along the y-axis. So here's my y-axis, this is zero, that's negative one, negative two, and so that would be like right here. So this is where those two kind of uh, uh, coordinates mean. So this would be the point three, negative two, right there, okay? So remember we talked about uh, quadrants, the axis, and then the middle right here, I don't know if I, set it, but I'll say it now. This is called the origin, okay? And it is located at the point zero, zero. All right, so this is just a basic introduction to X, Y points and how to plot them. Uh, it is the, the fundamental beginning point of, um, you know, learning how to graph lines in algebra, extremely important. So this has been confusing you. Hopefully, I did pretty well. Uh, I kept it around seven minutes, but if I went a little bit over, it was only to help uh, make this point <laughs> clear. All right, so let's go ahead and wrap up this video. 
Um, so if you need math help, again, I have many, many math uh, courses. I'm going to leave a link to my main uh, math program in the description of this video. Um, hopefully you'll consider subscribing if you like my teaching style as I'm teaching stuff all the time. I love teaching math. If you enjoyed the video, please uh, consider smashing that like button and leave me some feedback. Did this video uh, help you out? Are you still confused? You know, what math course are you in? Do you like math? Do you don't like math? Any feedback is good feedback. But with that being said, I definitely appreciate your time and have a great day.